Guess who has a tooth? Well, I have a lots of teeth, but this guy has a tooth that broke through, huh? Noodle has one tooth. You can't see it yet, but I can feel it if I go like this. There it is. <laughs> Cheese. Wanna show him your tooth? Yeah. It's exciting. And guess who lost a tooth today? Ambry. The tooth fairy is recycling. Yeah, the tooth fairy is recycling. <laughs> Did you get a tooth? His birthday is in, let's see. Five, four days. Day. You, you got a tooth four days before his birthday. It's been a, it's on top of it, and you only have four more days to your birthday. It's one. one. You guys look so much alike. You know what's a funny story? Is that Davey didn't know that Noodle was a redhead until about three days ago. <laughs> about a week ago. We were sitting in the hot tub, and I was like, it's funny, half of our kids have red hair, and he's all... Noodle doesn't have red hair. I was like, yes. He's like, oh. Oh, I guess he does. Yeah, it's the same as Andrew's. I guess. Look, I knew he had red hair. I just never heard our family summed up as half our kids are redheads and half are not. I was like. Yeah, right. Why'd you say true. Noodle doesn't have red hair? And I, I looked at you like this, like, are you kidding me? That's just <laughs> messing with you. April thinks I have oh, Alzheimer's oh, or something. <laughs> Let me give all some yeah. you for you're forgetful. Uh, quick little message, real quick. I'm holding Frank. He's about ready to go down for a nap during my run. Um, something that's been weighing on my mind lately, and what I was thinking about today was big picture, not you know nearsightedness versus farsightedness versus seeing the big picture. I think all too often we get. We caught up and we spend so, so much of our time doing the things that matter least. The things that matter least in the big picture. The, we, I think Satan's biggest tool right now is using the art of distraction. And I think cell phones are a big part of it. I think so often we don't allow ourselves to be bored, to see, you know, to actually think about you know, spiritual things to connect with Heavenly Father. We'll, we'll say a prayer in the morning and then we'll go right to our phones and just getting lost and killing time as they call it. Um, so my challenge to me and to you, you, you know, it gets so bad that like uh, as somebody driving a car, you'll see it, I do it, you'll see it, I'll see it in the cars next to me where you pull up to a stoplight and you've got 20 seconds and you can't even just sit there and stare out the window. You gotta pull out your phone and scroll. So my challenge to me, my challenge to you is to spend, put the phone down and you know, you can give yourself a specific part of the day, give yourself 30 minutes, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever your, people usually have their go-to platform where they're just go for a little bit of entertainment, but set yourself a limit, either a time of day or just a total time of like 30 minutes where whatever time you decide is right for you and when it's not when you're not within that time put your phone down be with the people you are with we it's it makes me so sad when you go out you see a parent at dinner or out to dinner with a kid at the teenager and the kid's just on his phone the whole time and or whatever the situation or a couple's out to dinner and yeah there's things to do and there are times to be on your phones but Take time to be with the people that you're around. Get, put the dang phone down. I, I'm the king of, on Sundays, whether at my mom's house or wherever it is, just walking around, turning off TVs, telling kids to put their phones down. Yeah. Sometimes we'll do, and I wanna start doing this more, full, like no screen Sundays. It's whoever's coming to my house that day, you put your phones away, we leave the TVs off, and the kids actually, like a lot of the kids complain about it, but they actually end up having so much more fun. Like we, if we're on screens the whole time, we don't even, they're like, oh, it's time to go already. It's been four hours and we've 
the kids have either been on their phones or watching TV the whole time and they didn't even realize they were with cousins and stuff. But that is my challenge. Put the phone down, spend time with the people that you're with. You know, there's a scripture that says wherever your where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And wherever we spend our time, whatever that's how we show what's important to us, whatever we're spending our time doing. If 90% of the day we're scrolling our phones, that's what's important to us. Spend time with your kids, spend time with your spouse. If you're driving together, talk to each other. Put your dang phones down, you know? And that may sound weird coming from somebody that's on social media, but I would rather you work on your relationship with your family and never watch our vlog again than be devoted and watch our vlogs every day. We appreciate when you watch it, but I just, I hope you're doing it at times when people aren't around you, when you're not taking away from time with your kids or your spouse. So, that is my preach, that is my rant today, that's what's on my mind, and I'm just as guilty as anybody else. So, get rid of your phone, I mean, another time, one big time waster is like sitting on the toilet, TMI, whatever. I've started reading uh, church talks on the toilet instead of bringing my phone, because all of a sudden, like so much time is wasted, and it takes so much longer. That's a big time waster for me. So I and it's I always feel better. I never feel better looking at my phone and scrolling through social media. I, I don't. It doesn't. It's not fun. It's not uplifting. There's so many other good ways to spend your time. So okay, rant over. Noodle, you have anything to say? Anything to add to that? Okay, time for a nap. That sounds like April's bread is done. Okay, Eb, what are we doing? Halloween decorations. Halloween, that's right. Hey Noodle, we're gonna try this with you. That means you're gonna have to crawl around outside. But we're doing Halloween decorations. We got some scary guys. I remember a few years back, we did a collaboration with uh, Home Depot. We made a haunted house in our front yard. Skeleton, we got the wolf. We got a lot of fun and exciting things. Let's go. Okay, we got the big skeleton. Oh, this creepy guy. He's actually really creepy. But he kind of likes scary stuff. Noodle! Where's the noodle? Hey, come here. Oh, she's got the scary head. Why do you like scary stuff, huh? Anymore. You don't anymore? Okay. Should we not do Last it then? Time I had a scary bathroom, but oh my goodness. We'll still put up a Halloween decoration. Okay, let's do it. This is what we did. Look at <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. Now he's not so she's not so scary. It's a bride getting married. We gave her that thing. Now she's not scary. Right, E B? He's kind of cute. <sighs> Just kidding. Noodles helping. Okay, we're getting to biz down to business. Here's our first thing. Yep, she looks she looking good. Okay, for our next item, what do we got, E B? Oh the werewolf. Okay. This big, bye bye. Did you turn him off? Yes. She said he's getting annoying. <laughs> We're making progress. Noodles started getting needy. So I only got one arm now, but the wolf is looking good. I just gotta finish dressing him up. Should we let let's plug him in and see if he's working? Yes. It's just no, this fella. This guy broke last year, I think. He got knocked over in the wind. Yeah. Okay, let's try him. Okay, kids are home. Ambry, which character have you missed the most? Joey. Oh, Joey, we missed you. Daddy! 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 <laughs> oh, that's creepy. It's a capper. Capper. Alright, let's put this inside. Alright, I spent most of the day, actually all of the day so far, I went on a run. 
And then I spent the rest of the day making part of my costume. I'll give you a little hint. I'll show you what the costume part of the costume that I had to make was, and then maybe you can guess what I'm gonna be. It's this vest. Yes, I made this vest. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, I just whipped this up real quick. It's part of my costume. Who do you think I'm gonna be? There's the rest of the costumes spread out because I still have to make EBs, Ambries, Daisies. Yeah, I still have three more. But they're not like full on makes. They're like like mine was just a vest and like the other one is like just putting some stuff together. So it's like just kind of finishing off them. I didn't tell them what we're gonna be yet. Don't though. tell them yet. Just... I showed them my vest. <gasps> See if they can guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, Daisy, Costco haul. Hey guys, I just got back from Costco and Ender. And here, sit down. Okay. Daisy, you're growing up, turning into a woman, and along with turning into a woman comes, I'm sure you know where this is headed, right? Yeah. Where? A uh, debit card. How did you know? Marco Polo. You heard? Yeah, mom was in the room and it was so loud. I'm like, uh, picking up Daisy's card. I thought you but were going to think I bought you a tampon or something. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So you're supposed to be surprised and say, oh my gosh, you're so <laughs> awesome. There's you zero dollars in it. There is? Yeah, good luck. Uh, we'll, we'll put some money in it. All right, guys, that does it. Um, we got back, we went to Alex Boyer concert tonight, just me and April, a little date night out, so fun. Alex Boyer, if you're not already following him on Instagram or YouTube, follow him, support that guy. He is such a cool guy with such a cool history. And like, look on YouTube and find Alex Boyer videos telling his story of his past and his history, coming from London and living as homeless, being abandoned, like, just amazing, amazing guy. Love him so much. Um, but thanks for watching the vlog today. Find good in everything. We'll see you tomorrow.